Allard woman accused of leaving her baby for dead in a bush will stay behind bars for now. This afternoon, the child's mother faced a judge and is now being held on $150,000 bail. Thomas Jackie Kent was in court and has the disturbing new details from police. A Ballard mother accused of leaving her child for dead was emotionless as she faced a judge. And as prosecutors urged, she stay behind bars. You don't have to be a parent to, to be really heartbroken by what happened here. The judge ruled our cameras cannot show the 41-year-old woman above the neck as she has not been charged. New court documents detail what's been a lengthy investigation since a passerby reported finding the dead infant boy in February 2023 in the bushes off Shilshul Avenue. Investigators made an arrest nearly a year and a half later after identifying the newborn's father, who was surprised to learn about the child's existence, then admitted to being in contact with the woman he described as homeless. King County prosecutors in new court documents detailed the woman giving birth near the railroad tracks and allegedly leaving the infant boy for dead in the brush near a busy business center. The defendant did stay there with the child for about four to five hours and then left it in the bushes and boarded a bus. Um, the defendant uh, admitted to this. She additionally admitted that she did not seek medical, medical attention. In response in court, the defense argued the woman has no criminal history and is unable to pay bail. Still, the judge found probable cause to charge her with second-degree manslaughter, reckless endangerment, and unlawful disposal of human remains. I do have concerns that there is a likelihood of a future violent act. Reporting in Ballard, Jackie Kent, Come On News. There could be a charging decision as early as Friday. We did see in court documents that the woman has mental health concerns. There will be a question of whether the defense raises that in course in court, specifically whether she is competent to stand trial. Tonight, we're learning new disturbing details about a baby that was found dead in Ballard nearly a year and a half ago. The child's mother went before a judge today and is now being held on a $150,000 bail. Molly Shen joins me tonight, and Molly, a judge condemned the mother's actions, saying she left that newborn for dead. That's right, Preston, and through it all, the mother remained emotionless in the courtroom. Tonight, I talked with Jackie Kent about why the judge set that high bail and the other charges the woman now faces. Jackie, thanks for joining us here on Arc Seattle tonight. I want to have you start with what happened more than a year ago uh, with the discovery of a dead baby. Yes. A very tragic case really shook this neighborhood. A passerby off Shilshul Avenue, 5300 block. This is basically in a very industrial area near a business center. Someone found a dead baby in some bushes and ended up reporting it. And at the time when we had covered this um, almost a year and a half ago, there were very few details about how the baby got there, who might be responsible. And uh, there were no suspect leads at the time until last night there was an arrest that was finally made. So today we got new court documents finding out um, some of these allegations. And today the suspect appeared in court. It's actually the baby's mother. And so what we've found out from those court documents from the, uh, the police report is that this woman didn't know she was pregnant. She might be homeless. She gave birth near some railroad tracks and allegedly abandoned her baby in some bushes, then hopped on a bus and went to her boyfriend's house. And so she appeared in court today and a judge ruled that she'll have a high bail, about $150,000, and she'll be in court uh, in a couple weeks. Obviously, just such a tragic case. And as you pointed out, it, it was a long time to reach this arrest. How did they finally find her? Yeah, it's, it's a really lengthy investigation. And there, there are a lot of moving parts to it. But in short, um, they were able to track down the infant boy's father through DNA because he happened to be in the CODIS system. And he admitted to being in touch with the woman. He had no idea of the baby's existence, but told police he was in touch with her. So they ended up arresting her last night at his apartment. 
All right. And as you mentioned, she'll be in court again uh, coming up soon. It, do we know yet what she might be charged with? Today, the judge found probable cause for a few things, um, saying, you know, she remains a danger to the public. Um, the, the judge, excuse me, found probable cause to charge her with uh, second degree manslaughter, reckless endangerment and unlawful disposal of human remains. Um, there is another piece to this, though, after speaking with King County prosecutors, um, when I asked them, you know, they're expecting a charging decision as early as Friday, but they did note um, that in the court documents, the woman does have mental health concerns. So there is going to be a question later down the road of whether the defense raises that in court specifically, whether she's competent to stand trial. So we'll stay on top of this and keep you posted. All right, Jackie, thanks very much. Thanks. And Molly, we also learned more about how the infant's body was originally discovered and reported in incredibly gruesome. Right, Preston, it is just another tragic and disturbing detail in this case. Instead of calling 911, when a man first noticed the newborn's body, he took a picture and then he actually sent it through Animal Control's online dead animal portal. He said the child was obviously dead, so he didn't think it was an emergency. This happened on February 19th of 2023. That was the President's Day weekend. Animal control staff didn't see the report until February 22nd. They did immediately notify police. Mm, just horrifying, Molly. Thank you.